Hello, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Grant Cardone versus Gary Vee, or sales versus marketing. Which one do you think is better? So what we're gonna talk about today is uh, Grant Cardone versus Gary Vee. Now, my journey has been 20 years pretty much in business on my own, basically, uh, and I've made every mistake going. This is why I created this channel, so that I can help stop other people making the very same mistakes, or at least tell you the right way to go about it. I'm not suggesting for one second that I'm a business expert, but what I have done is seen a lot within that 20 years uh, worth of experience. Um, and I think the best way or the current way I can talk to you about uh, all of this is try and sort of compare my journey uh, and my pieces of advice, hints, tips, um, to some of the most familiar names out there today. What I'm trying to create here is a, is a community of business owners, people that want to make something out of their life, okay? It is a lonely job out there, um, and I too have saw or have seen a lot of help and advice, a lot of um, real, supportive uh, natured people out there and I've watched a lot of videos in my time. Some have been good, some have been great. Uh, and if you wanna catch up with a lot more of what we've got to say and what we've got to offer, please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So I wanna start talking uh, first off about Grant Cardone and my thoughts and opinions of him. I would say 18 months ago, the man got right on my nerves, if I'm honest with you. However, I, as a business owner, have matured a lot throughout this period and have realized that the sales process is a very important process. The close, the, the pre-positioning leading up to the sales pitch and then to the close has been a very, very fundamental part of our success. So I'm not gonna deny that sales isn't an important part of the entire process. However, you will notice that Grant Cardone himself is an absolute huge brand in its own. 100%, he is everywhere you go right this moment in time. He fills my YouTube channel. He fills my social media timelines and news feeds. So Grant is very clever at both of them. He cannot for one second uh, insist or state that sales is the only and the most important part of this process. Without his brand, without his appearance, without him being everywhere at every turn, he will not be who he is today, 100%. You even have to go back 15 or 20 years when Grant Cardone was putting out videos himself. He was building a personal brand. He was marketing himself. He was letting people know exactly his value proposition and how much worth he is to you as an individual. So don't ever let him tell you otherwise. I'm sure uh, in many of his videos, you'd have heard him say or state something similar to this, that if you can sell, who needs marketing? Um, for me, social proof is everything. If you can sell, sometimes people might fear that you're a bit of a, uh, is it a, 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 you're selling snake oil. You know, people don't necessarily trust you. Without marketing, you don't build up that sense of trust. People have to know, like, and trust you, right? You know all that, it's kind of like the, the fundamental marketing basics. Uh, and, and I often, if I haven't heard of anybody, do my research first. Uh, and the place I do that research is I just do a simple Google search. I look on the social media timelines to see what they're putting out and all of that, all of that convincing uh, broadcast is pure and simply marketing. As I said before at the beginning of this video, it was until 18 months ago where our sales journey truly began, uh, where I chose to get proper sales training because it was something that I didn't rate in the slightest. I figured that all I needed to do was be very, very noisy on these social media timelines because after all, for 24 years, this is all I know what to do. I know how to market myself. I know how to build a personal brand, but all I was doing was giving my information away for free. People was tapping me up in networking environments, asking me questions, and I became the busiest fool in the world. I was asked to pitch and present many, many times, but because I did not know how to close, I did not seal the deal. I then chose to get some sales training and my business transformed. It absolutely transformed into, throughout this COVID period, into a 610% growth spurt, one of which we've never seen before in this 24 years of me working in marketing, okay? However, I know the strength of our brand 
most definitely took us to the places where we needed to be. We're dealing with some of the biggest organizations nationally because of the strength of the brand. But because of the sales training I received, I'm able to seal the deal and grow my business. For those of you watching this video, I'll just want to reiterate that once you find your formula, it is a repeatable process. You know, all you have to do is kind of fine tune that formula, that sales process from sale to success. And all we have done now is we, we role play this whole issue. We have seen every obstacle, every objection you can imagine. And every week uh, we have a role playing scenario where we each become a really awkward customer and we make it very difficult for our guys to get that sale. And what happens is they overcome them obstacles themselves by having that role play. And the system that we've created now is we can literally put anybody in that sales seat and anybody can sail. All you have to do is to have your repeatable model and something that you know and trust and you win pretty much every time. So now let's have a look at Gary V. I mean, I follow Gary V from the start. I mean, from the beginning, from Wine Library TV. His first effort at a podcast was hit and miss at best, let me tell you. Uh, so in, in, in terms of his consistency and how he puts it out, I've got to say, honestly, he must have a pretty big team to be spitting out that amount of content. And that's the level of importance. In fact, we've heard a little rumor that his team of three, four or five is just that, a rumor. It's actually about 35 people that take care of his content and spit it out regularly. Now, if you can afford it, then fantastic. But without his personal brand, people won't come to him. People come to him purely because of his size and his scale and the amount of content that he puts out. He is brave, he is br so bold and brash to predict things. Uh, and often they come off good. Nobody, nobody remembers the fact that his multiple other things that he's predicted have come off bad because he's really good at distributing content and all the good stuff. He understands his value proposition and he gets it out there on a regular basis. I'm pretty sure he's actually coaching Grant Cardone in spitting out all of his content as well. The two go absolutely perfectly together. Let's not make no mistake. But what we don't see is what we goes off in the back end, the back office area of Gary Vee. He has a thousand people working for him. Not one of those people can sell? Rubbish, absolute rubbish. Gary V is that personal face of the business. And I suggest that everybody has that. I am doing this video because I'm the personal face of this brand and business. I can't sell. I can't do it. I can't close. I feel too embarrassed to. I can't push. I can't invoice. I have people to do that stuff for me. Okay. So I go out there. I build the personal brand up. I, pre I present. I pitch. I get people excited about what we do, just like Gary V. He excites people and inspires people. He knows his worth and that's where he's best placed. And I think for me, again, that's another part of my message is just do what you're good at. Become completely self-aware of exactly what you are capable of and then employ in where you fail. I was always really, really scared to do so because it's an extra 1500 or 2000 pound a month to your business that you probably can't afford right now. But think about just how much you're missing out or losing out on. If you can't sell, take on a salesperson. If you can't market, get somebody in who can because they are both equally as important. Without Gary V being so vocal about social media, I really don't think it'd be what it is today. He has definitely put this whole social media platforms, this whole social media responsibility firmly on his shoulders and he's shouted the words out for everybody to hear. And now finally, we all believe. We all believe him, we all believe in the process. But much like there's sales, there is a process. The way in which Gary Vee puts his content out, he repurposes all of his best stuff. He goes out there as the authority. He himself is branding him as the expert in the field. Why? Because I believe in him, hopefully you believe in him too. It's better to believe in an individual and build that personal brand up than it is to believe in a logo, a faceless organization. Again, which is why I'm going out there trying my best to encourage and convince people to take this thing really, really seriously, okay? So, 
In short, marketing is what gets the opportunity out there. Without marketing, you're not going to have the opportunity to put into the funnel and then start in that sales process. For me, it starts with building your personal brand, getting out there, getting known, building a reputa reputation, forging partnerships, and then the sales process starts to kick in. So if you're worried about some kind of chicken and egg process, marketing for me is the way to go because without it, we at Be More Social will be absolutely nothing right at this moment in time. So to summarize, uh, I guess what you're still gonna be asking, so what is it, Rick? Is it sales, is it marketing? Look, it's the both of them. You know, you can't run a business without getting notoriety, without getting people or eyes looking at the prize of which is you. Without a sales process, you're never gonna convert. So you need both of them, I'm afraid. Um, and there is no versus, it is a partnership. What you have to do is try and create some kind of team within your organizations. If it's just you, you're gonna to have to good, get good at both, end of. You no longer are what you do. First of all, what you are is a marketer and a salesperson. That's it. If you like what you see, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and get on board this community. I would love for you to contribute that little bit more and leave me a comment on the type of things that you want to see as well on this channel.